Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video, I will be talking about how to create a repo and how to link a repo in your Azure Databricks. So moving forward, I would like to introduce my channel that is Geek Coders and here I upload videos on Spark, ADF, SQL and so on. If you are interested, then you can go and watch it out and if you are liking my content, you can share with your friends. So moving forward, I will tell you today what I will do. So if I open my notepad, then you can see I have written some steps. That is, we will do, first we will clone the GitHub or Azure repo in our Azure Databricks. Then we do any changes in the notebook and then we will try to push those changes into the repo. At last, what we will do, we will pull latest changes from repo in the notebook. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, this is my Databricks workspace. Okay, you can see in workspace, I have nothing. And you can see we have a repo option over here. Okay, if I go to this repo option, you can see I have set up one of the repo that is Geek Coders right now. Okay, and we have uh, we have my uh, my repository in GitHub that is Databricks and same in Azure DevOps also we have a repository called Geek Coders. So right now what I will do I will I will set up these two repository in the Databricks. So for that what I need to do I need to go to this setting button user setting and git integration you can see we have an option over here right now i set up with the git so what i will do i will tell you from this starting okay so what you need to do you need to choose git provider so i will choose github over here then you have to pass your username or the uh, email id of git so i give in my email id and then you have to pass pad token so how would you fetch it go to here go to setting go at the down developer setting then you can see we have a personal access token that is called pat so click on new generate code token and give some message like uh, for youtube i am doing this repo workflow right that's done and then generate a new token okay once i do this you can copy this and then what i will do i will paste it over here save it it's saved now now what i will do i will go to the repository option and click on add repo first we have to clone a remote git repo so what i will do i will go back and i will search for my repository I will copy this path and paste it over here. Now we have to choose Git provider. Git provider is GitHub and the repo name is Databricks. Create it. Okay. Databricks, it is done and it is uh, clone with the master branch. Okay. Now what we have to do, what I will do is that I will I will do some changes over here so if I open this then uh, what I will do I will create one notebook let's say a dot py and I will write some message here that print hello that's done go back okay now I will add one more notebook that is b dot py and here also i will add some message that print hello to okay now what i will do i want to commit these two 
changes in my master branch so I will go to here not here I will go to here go to get option then here you can see we can see like we have changed in two files okay and here also the message comes that we added something so now we want to commit it so I write some message updated and comment and push so once it is done now if I go to my data breaks now you can see we have a.py.py b.py.py this is called push now we want to pull data or you know pull file from the master branch what we will do we will add one file over here let's say c.py now these changes are present now these changes are present in the repo in the github repo but these changes this file is not present here right in the database workspace so what would we do we have to go to this option then choose pull so we are pulling the latest changes from the repository so i will click on this pull and then confirm once it is done if you go back and see we have dot c dot py file present in the azure devops i mean database repo it is one way suppose you are using azure repo then how would you do that same process go to git integration change the setting over here it is loading meanwhile what i will do i will click on this clone button and then I will generate a git credentials okay so this is my username I will copy the username and go back here and change put uh, click on change setting and I will choose Azure DevOps personal access token and then the password is this so I will go back and put the password over here click on saved it is done now go back to repository add a repo i will pass i will pass this go back here pass the link over here and then click on create okay so what I need to do I need to remove this that's done then again I will do I will go to this add repo paste it and create it it is done now what I will do I will perform the same uh, same thing here also what I will do I will I will add one file so let's say a dot py here I will add first c dot py file we can see in the master branch we have c dot py file present over here in the repository but this file is not present in my databricks repository if i click on this geek coders then you can see i have nothing i have only azure pipelines.yml and readme.md file okay so what i will do if i okay that is done right so if i go here and if i click on this go to git and then pull the changes if I pull my changes do confirm that's done now you can see now you can see okay it did not come one minute
okay i have to choose my main branch sorry and here i what i will do i will here okay we have main we have dot c dot py file right present over here so why it is not coming no we do not have so what i i will do i will click on this press new button go to file and then i will try to create or upload a new file dot c dot py click on create button do commit once it is done then what i will do i will go back here in the repository geek coders git pull the changes that's done okay now if i go back then you can see we have c.py likewise what i will do i will create a new notebook called a and i will try to push these things into the repository so right now if you can see i do not have i do not have a dot a dot py file present over here okay so what i will do i will go back in the repository go to git option and push the changes that's done if i go to the uh, repository you can see we have we should have let me refresh it a dot py file present over here so this is the way how can we create a repository and how can we merge the code or commit the code into the uh, repository github git git bash big bucket anything okay so yeah that's it for today's video i hope you have liked the video if you do do subscribe and share to my channel